Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Third Angle. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use the command trim, extend, fillet and chamfer. So let's just use the line command first. We'll take a line, pick a start point and end point. So that's my line from here to here. Let's say that's my end point, hit escape, and then I'm gonna again start from here. Let's say I go till here, and then I draw a line, which is something like this. So now if I want to trim these two corners, what I have to do is go to this drop down menu, go to trim. It says specify cutting edges. So for that, I'm gonna select my this edge and this edge and hit enter and then specify segments to remove. So I'm gonna click on this line and this line. So this is how we use our trim command. The other way of using the trim command is same thing, click on trim and in the specify cutting edge, just hit enter and then click on this line and this line it will automatically pick the boundaries for you so that's our trim command our next command is extend so how to use this command let's say i'm going to draw a line let's turn the ortho on and then start point and let's say that's my line hit escape if i want to extend this line to this line I have to pick a command extend the first thing in your command window shows up is specify boundary edges so that's my boundary and then I'm gonna hit enter and then click on this line and then same thing click on that line so this is how we can extend our line now the other way of doing this is the same thing as I showed you in the trim command. Click extend, hit enter, and then click on this line and this line. So it will automatically choose the next line after the end point of this line. So this is how we do extend of the line. Now, then our next command is fillet let's say i want to give fillet on these corners because these are my sharp corners so i want to remove those sharp edges i'm gonna click on fillet and then here we have to specify our radius first so right now if you look at your command window it says radius is equal to zero so now i just have to hit r and then enter and then it will ask me to specify the radius. So let's say I'll just say 0 0.25, hit enter, specify first entity and specify second entity. So if you look at here, this is my fillet. Now for all the other things, I can just hit enter again. So it will repeat the command, first entity and then second entity, hit enter again first entity second entity it enter again first entity and second entity first entity and second entity this is how we use our fillet command and now the next command is chamfer so i'll just click on chamfer it shows me here in my command window active chamfer distance one is zero distance two is zero so i have to give a dimension to my chamfer so first thing is angle second is distance third is method and so on i can just say distance so hit d enter specify first distance i would say 0.5 enter second distance 0 0.5 enter specify first line so that's my first line second line that's my second line so this is how we give our chamfer so that's it for today's video guys keep in touch 
Thanks for watching the video and make sure you hit subscribe button and hit like on my video if you do like my video. For all the new updates of my channel, please hit the bell icon.